Okay, I'm going to share my screen. Please uh, let me know if it's visible or not. Please raise your hand if it is visible. Or give thumbs up. Okay, in today's session, uh, okay, uh, what we have seen on Friday, hope you guys practiced uh, everything. So we have seen the constraint using the alter table and the create table, right? Uh, the what are the constraint we have seen primary constraint primary key foreign key uh, why do we need this uh, primary key and foreign key constraints because uh, in order to make a relationship between these two things and what is a primary key it is a uniquely identified rows and uh, uh, we have already seen about uh, what is the difference between a unique uh, uh, key constraint and a primary key constraint right so everything we have seen in the last class and not null constraint while creating the table how to put the not null and alter the table how to put the not null and everything we have seen and also how to drop that particular constraint and renaming the constraint and how to add the multiple constraint in, in a single query okay and what is mean by no check also so play, please try to practice everything just try to create your own table okay just try to create we have already created uh, the invoice table and book table and i have already shown you uh, how to create the table also right hope you guys uh, have completed creating that uh, simple invoice table invoice id with the date and the price and invoice item etc right hope you guys remember so now in today's session, what we are going to do is, so in the last session also, we didn't see the alter table, right? So in today's session, we are going to see how to alter the table, okay? How to alter and uh, rename the columns and uh, modify the column types, okay? The first thing we are going to see. And uh, next thing is about the sequence. So these are the two topics which we are going to cover today. Please uh, try to do parallelly with me so that only you will not miss anything. <clears throat> okay, now I have connected and now I'm going to connect with our database is called as NM DB class. Okay, now we are going to see what are all the tables we have in our uh, database. So these are the tables which we have already. Authors, book details, PK, and uh, course, uh, online sale, everything we have uh, um, imported, right? So what I'm going to do is for alter table, okay? Now I want to rename my table name. Okay, this alter command, right? This alter command is used to uh, modify your uh, table structure. See, what is your table structure? See, for example, um, I'm going to alter this online sale table, okay? See, this is my table structure, right? So, if this is my table structure, I uh, after creating the table, I want to modify this table name or I want to modify this column name or I want to modify this data type which I have given. So for each and every time I can't uh, delete my table um, and recreating for the as per the requirement comes. So in order to make it easy, we have alter table. Okay. So for the existing table, I am going to alter the name of the table. Okay, so this is my syntax. What, what is my syntax? Just a minute. I will come here. <clears throat> so here I'm going to type alter table, alter table syntax. So alter table, if exist, my table name and rename to the new name. Okay, now I'm going to alter 
alter table if exist if exist means what it will do this is optional okay uh, so this optional uh, if exist what it will do means it will check for the table existence if the table exists then that uh, will alter the table name otherwise it will raise an error so this is optional exist what is my table name which i'm going to change uh, we will change the online sale okay for example online sale is my table name and i'm going to rename to new name okay online online um sale uh, 2023 so like this i want to change for this year alone how much sale um uh, my shop has gone through so in order to save that kind of uh, data so i'm going to change the table name as in 2000 with the date or anything okay now i'm copy pasting it so the now you can see see here i'm just increasing the font so that it is very visible for you see using the syntax now i have altered the table name existing table name now see here the list of tables instead of online we got online sale 2023 okay this is the basic syntax to change the table name now i want to change the column or uh, the, uh, rename the column okay see here what are all the columns which we have in uh, the online sale sorry it couldn't find because we have changed the name right 2023 now you can see these are all the column names we are having order id order date ship date ship mode city state country and everything okay now what i'm going to do is now i'm going to uh, change something like um, this uh, ship date or ship mode or anything into some other name okay so for that what i'm going to do is alter table so if you want to specify it with the schema name schema name is nothing but that uh, inside the schema we are having uh, this table like that the hierarchy will come inside the database we will, we can have many number of schemas inside the schemas we can have many number of schemas or the tables so it's like a folder okay so inside this uh, e, e, uh, e drive we can have a job folder so we can have any number of folders inside this and we can have any number of files inside this so like that the schema is nothing but in that hierarchy i'm telling okay so schema is nothing uh, like it can act like a uh, folder okay in the normal thing in so it is optional i can give the schema name with the schema name i can able to give otherwise uh, we can give simply the table name alone so this is the table i'm going to alter okay so table name and rename column what name i'm going to alter so which column i need to rename and this is the column name okay so this is the column name okay which one i can take okay city for city instead of a city i need it as a city one okay so inside this online sale 2023 table i need to rename this city into city 1 okay now my online sale 23 i'm going to display the columns inside the online sale 23 see now city my uh, my city one name got altered so like this you can able to do it for the column type also okay column type also column for the column type or uh, the uh, the constraint which is inside like the column so using we have already seen right 
after giving the column and column type everything, I can able to set the not null constraint after creating the table. Everything we have seen after creating the table, right? During the creation of a table itself, we can able to add the constraint. Uh, so similarly, during the creation of a table itself, we have given the column names and all, right? Co column types and all. So in order to change that, I need the alter table command, okay? So this is the this schema name uh, is optional, okay? So what I'm going to do is alter table. So what is my table name? This is my table name and I'm going to, this is a keyword, alter column is the keyword. In this alter table command for this particular table, what I'm going to do, I'm going to alter the column. Which column, okay? Which For which column I'm going to change the data type, okay? So that is uh, important. So for example, okay, for this quantity QTY, I need it as a numeric, not as an integer. Uh, okay, uh, it should, if you are changing something as per the requirement, then it should be something meaningful. Um, if this numeric field, okay, this is uh, this uh, decimal, uh, this numeric field will add the decimal points also. So this integer will not. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to change the quantity or shipping cost or anything into the numeric field, okay? So I'm going to change this quantity, QTY, alter column, which column I'm going to alter, QTY, okay? So for this QTY, set data type, okay? Set data type. I'm just copy pasting this, set data type as, so already existing data type, okay? <clears throat> so likewise, you can able to add uh, in any number of uh, data type. Okay. So what is the existing data type? It is integer. Now I want, what I want is numeric. Okay. Set data type as numeric. Okay. So alter column, column name, set data. Likewise, you can able to add any number of uh, columns. Okay. For any number of columns, you can able to add like this. Oh, okay, set to data. Make sure that you are uh, using the correct syntax. Okay, so this is how you need to alter. So you can, by using this comma, you can able to do for uh, uh, the shipping cost alone in the same, in the same query. So comma here, what I, I'm going to do is comma shipping cost. Okay. For shipping cost also, I need to alter, alter column. So using comma, you can alter any number of uh, columns data type. Okay. Hope you guys are uh, doing parallelly with me. Please try to practice parallelly. So what I'm going to do is set data type into numeric. Since it is in the integer, I want it uh, in the numeric type. So likewise, you can able to add comma, comma like that. You can able to add any number of column inside the uh, alter table command. Hope you guys got my point. So for now, we have what we have completed is um, how to alter using alter table command, how to alter the table name and uh, inside that column name and inside the uh, column type, okay? So these three things we have seen. So the next thing what we are going to see is sequence, okay? Uh, the sequence is nothing but it is a schema object or a special uh, uh, data type which generates the sequence of numbers, okay? Sequence of numbers. So have you remember what we have seen in uh, to gen uh, already we have seen about uh, something which generate the sequence of number, right? May I know what is that? Have you people remember? If yes, please give thumbs up 
or raise your hand yes or no we have already seen something which uh, generates a sequence of numbers right so that is called as a serial so serial object which generates the sequence of number automatically so default value of the sequence is one from one uh, it will start so here what we are going to do is we are going to create the sequence okay here we are going to create the sequence and this sequence generation is customized okay it's nothing but customized customized so what is meant by customized so customized is, is nothing but you can able to fix the starting value ending value and how much interval it should increment and how much interval it should decrement and you can able to append something with that uh, sequence number okay so everything you can able to do using this sequence so that is the main uh, advantage and main uh, difference between sequence and the serial data type okay hope you guys remember the sequence and the serial data type <coughs> we have already seen the serial okay so the sequence this is how we are using the sequence whether you want to uh, generate the sequence of number in ascending order or descending order or with the some interval okay 5 5 skip 5 and 5 10 15 20 like that 2 4 6 8 like that so you can able to generate some sequence it will generate automatically for you like the serial data type. but the difference between serial and sequence is uh, by default the serial will generate from start from one only and it will increment by default increment one by one one two three like that but sequence is customized so how can we do that by using this command okay this syntax so create sequence if not exist so this if not exist is nothing but it is optional okay it is optional which create the sequence only if uh, that particular uh, sequence exists otherwise okay it will uh, uh, raise an error uh, create sequence as your sequence name and starting value increment by how much it will increment so uh, for example my starting value is 5 and i need to increment it by 5 5 10 15 like that so you have to give start value as 5 and increment by 5 okay similarly for the min value min uh, from where it should start okay the sequence should start from the five sequence will start from one like that okay max value max value means how uh, till how much it should iterate okay in a cyclic manner so similarly this won't by is nothing but you are relating the sequence with some table okay so okay let us see some more example uh, before moving to that, uh, okay, I will just uh, create a sequence for you. See, sequence. Uh, okay, now how I am creating the sequence is create sequence. Okay, so C Q U E N C E. Create sequence. And here is my uh, name. Okay, ma my sequence okay so my sequence is nothing but my sequence name okay what we are going to see is how to create the sequence first okay and second thing is how to create in ascending and descending order and how to access after creating how to access those things using the above functions and uh, the next one is how to sequence, uh, uh, create sequence and um, joining with some table. And last one is serial versus sequence. So these are the things which we are going to see now. So, so now I have created one sequence. So my sequence name is called as create sequence. My sequence is the sequence name. Okay. So see here after I have created the sequence simply I didn't give any of the thing. Uh, from starting value, ending value, minimum, minimum, maximum. I didn't give anything. <coughs> See, what I'm going to do is now using the above functions. Okay, next val, set val, current val, and last val. 
this functions i am going to iterate it okay i am going to uh, manipulate the sequence so the next valve will do what the next valve will do is next valve uh, inside the bracket you need to give your uh, sequence name it will increase the sequence value to the next value what it will do increase the sequence value to next value okay so and it will return the same value okay what uh, uh, it will increase in it will return so if the sequence is created with the default parameter okay then the next value return the successive value okay for example here i have created the default uh, okay i didn't give mention any minimum maximum anything so i just created the sequence and i didn't mention so it will take one as a default value okay now if i call this sequence next val it will return one let us see <clears throat> So what I'm going to do is, okay, here I will create, the, I will call the sequence. Okay, select, select, next val, so next val of what is my sequence name? Uh, here I have created my sequence, right? So this is my sequence name, okay? Hope my voice is audible. Hope you people are listening. If yes, please raise your hand. Are you people listening? Yes, good. Please try to practice parallelly with me, okay? So now I'm going to call this next valve. What happened? My sequence. Okay, I have to put it inside the single quote, I think. So in order to give some value, I need to put it inside the single quote. See here, by default, I, I didn't create any sequence. I didn't mention any min, max value or any increment value, anything. I didn't give anything. Just what I did was I have created one sequence. By default, it will take, while creating this sequence, the default value by default, it will take or it will start from the one. See here, the next value of the sequence is one. Okay. Again, I'm calling the sequence. Now it will give you two. Again, I'm calling it will give you three. So likewise, we can able to iterate the sequence using the next value. Okay. Next val. Okay. So this is how we should use the next val function so what is set val function so the set val function what it will do is uh, see uh, this is my sequence name set val of a sequence this is my sequence name and the value okay so is called what this is called will do is is called will return the boolean my boolean values um, which means true or false true or false why it is uh, at what time it will retry uh, it will return the true or false means it will return uh, the next value return the increment if it is specified value okay so it will return false the next value return specified the value in the value parameter so this is the difference okay so it will return true the next value of function here see here the next value of function return the increment which is specified by the value okay so for example now i am going to set um, what i am going to do is now i am going for example i will show you select set val of i am going to set some value okay set val of what is my sequence name this is my sequence name okay copy paste it sequence name comma for example i'm going to give my value as 10 and this one as true okay now see what happens it will return true see here the set i have set 
the value as 10 and it will return true. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is now I'm going to call the next value. Okay. See what is my next value? It is 11 because I have set the value as 10 and my next value of 10 is 11. So like this, we can able to iterate. Okay. Iterate some uh, customized things, customized values. Uh, you guys will uh, um, get my point when we uh, link this thing, this particular thing with our uh, uh, table. Okay. What is the main purpose of this uh, 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 customized thing? Okay. Okay. For, for now, just try to understand what is sequence and why we are using sequence. For, so after creating the sequence, I'm just iterating the sequence using next value of function. And here I'm using the set value of function. I have just declared the uh, value, initial value, and uh, I have just uh, declared this as a true in order to get the next value. Okay. So this is what we have done so far with respect to sequence. Now what we are going to do is I'm going to create some ascending order sequence. Ascending sequence. Okay. So in order to do, do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one more sequence. Create sequence and my name of the sequence, I will keep it as an ascending. Okay. Sequence is CQ ascending. <clears throat> create sequence. Okay. Create sequence. Sequence is the keyword. Okay, and this is my sequence name. Now, what I'm going to do is using start keyword. Okay, so we have already seen in the syntax, right? So, using create sequence using the start keyword, see here, start, and this is my start value, and this is my end. Okay, increment by min value, max value. So everything now I'm going to give. So what is my start value? My sequence should start with uh, any number with 10. Okay. And it should increment. Increment by 2. So after incrementing 2, what will be my, the value 10, 12, 14? Like that it will increment. Okay. But uh, the start value is, is uh, starting from the uh, 10. Whatever uh, value it is as per your wish, okay, as per the requirement. Okay, after giving the increment, now what I'm going to do is, uh, now I'm going to, okay, I'll create the sequence. See, the sequence got created. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to select. Select the next value, next value of my sequence. So what will be the next value of this sequence? Draw C. This is my sequence name, right? I'm going to select this and copy paste this. See, the initial value is I have set the value to the 10. Okay. Now again, I'm calling the next val function for this. So see, uh, you can see here <clears throat> the value got incremented by 2. So likewise, the iteration goes on. So I didn't specify any max value, right? If I specify the max value, then it will iterate up to that value. Okay. So now I'm going to specify some max value also. Okay. So if you just uh, iterate over this, uh, for example, if I give uh, max value as 20, it will iterate till 20. Okay, using next value, we can able to do that. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do some descending. Descending, how to do the descending sequence? <coughs> so using the, <coughs> excuse me, using the same syntax. It should start with, okay, what will be my, Starting value. <laughs> it should start with 10. <coughs> so it should increment by 
increment by minus 1. So 1 by 1, I am going to reduce. Okay. So it should start with uh, some value. And it should increment with some value. Okay. So what will be where it should stop? What, what is the maximum value? Max value is 10. Okay. And my min value is 1. And until 1, it should reach. Okay. 10 min, uh, minus 1. Okay. Uh, by doing minus 1, minus 1, minus 1 like that. 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, like that, it will iterate and it should stop at 1. What will be my mean value? It is 1. So now it should be in a cycle manner. Okay. So this is my syntax. And I am going to enter. See, my sequence got created. Now what I am going to do is now I am going to iterate it through the next val. Okay. What is my sequence name for the descending? B E S C. See here, it starts with 10. Okay. Similarly, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, like that, it will go on. It will decrement. 4, 3, 2, and it should stop at. It should stop at 1. Okay. And see here, after stopping, it will iterate it again. Again, the values start in a cyclic order. So that only we have given the cycle keyword. See here, I have given the cycle keyword. After, uh, till it reaches the min value 1, please do the cycle, which means start from the first and just do the decrement. Like that, we can able to customize the we can able to uh, do the sequence in a customized way. Okay. So, please make sure that you are practicing parallelly with me. May, and uh, please raise your hand if you are comfortable with this. And do you have any doubts? Please let me know. Do you have any doubts until this point? Shall we proceed? <clears throat> Shall we proceed or not? Please raise your hand or give thumbs up. Do you have any doubts in this sequence? Okay, good. So hope you guys are parallelly practicing with me. Please practice, do practice. Otherwise, these are all very minute uh, thing which uh, you might forgot or uh, you might lost the um connection between them okay okay now what i'm going to do is the next thing see here uh so far what we have seen how to create a sequence using the syntax how to create the sequence and uh how to iterate the sequence okay so so similarly this current value which will give the uh, current value of the iteration okay the next value current uh, next value of the iteration and last value is the last value of the sequence so using this kind of functions we can able to iterate uh, and um, uh, manipulate through the sequence which we have created so first thing we have uh, created a sequence and how to iterate it and how to create a ascending order and descending order sequence and uh, now what we are going to do is create a sequence with some table <clears throat> so create a sequence with table which means i am going to relate my table with this sequence okay um which table we will take okay uh, already you people having that uh, particular invoice table right invoice uh, detail table item item number master table like that you have already created and you have kept inside your uh, postgres and i have given the exercises related to that also okay hope you guys remember please take that table and uh, try to recreate that table okay now i'm what i'm going to do is i'm going to create create table okay invoice okay uh, invoice is the table 
frame, I think, which we have uh, did the exercise related to that uh, item master and all. Okay, now I'm going to uh, declare invoice uh, ID. We have uh, this invoice ID also in our table, right? Hope you guys remember those things. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare the not null constraint, which means this invoice ID should not be a null value while entering our data. Okay, this is the constraint which we have seen for the past two, two uh, for sorry, Friday we, we have seen this constraint, right? So what is not null? Not null is nothing but for this invoice column, uh, while entering the data, it, it will not allow the null values, okay? Null or empty or anything, okay? So item, next thing is item, let us keep it as an item ID, okay? Uh, I'll keep this as an int, and this is also not null. So likewise, you can create any table. And what else we can keep? Item name. Item name. And uh, let me give var care for this, OK? And what else we can need? OK, we will declare some cost, cost for the product and in a numeric, OK? And uh, quantity also, QTY. We have uh, quantity. So quantity, it might be in the liter or anything you can able to specify, OK? It is also in the numeric. Now, after creating this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare it as an primary key. There are two primary keys I'm going to keep. Which one is invoice ID? We can keep uh, invoice ID alone or uh, both item ID. So I want uh, this two should be unique. Okay. So that is my requirement. So I have created. Okay. This is what I'm going to create. So this, this is the simple table. Now I'm going to create it. Let's try to work parallelly. Let me <clears throat> see here. Okay, table got created. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one sequence for this table. I'm going to create C. If I want to enter this IDs, okay, <coughs> I need to enter it manually. If it is a serial, then it will start from one to uh, one to infinity. Okay, it will, uh, sorry, one one to some range. Uh, we are having some range for the serial, big serial, and a small serial for everything until that range it will iterate. Okay, it will create an uh, values one two three like that. It will create an uh, auto increment is only one, and we can't change that if I declare anything as a serial. So what I want is, my requirement is this for this item ID, okay? For this item ID, I want to increment it by two by two, okay? 10, uh, 12, 14, like that, I want to increment. And it should start from 10, any number you wish, okay? We have already created this, right? The same thing I'm going to do. Now what I'm going to do is create sequence, create sequence invoice, invoice sequence. So uh, you need to keep the uh, every name in a, uh, what to say, in a meaningful way. So if I want to create the sequence for this table, just put the table name and underscore SEQ. If I want to create some constraint for this, just put the table name and give the constraint name. So that only you can able to keep track of the things, OK? It should not be like A, B, C, like that. Then you will get confused, OK? So it should start from, for example, it can start from 5, 10, or anything. And I'm going to increment it to, OK, 5, 7, like that, 9, like that, it should increment. And uh, what is my minimum value? Min value, minimum value is five. I have already given it as a starting number. Okay. And the max value you can set. Uh, I don't want to set here because I need to uh, inst uh, copy 
uh, any number of uh, rows okay so if you set the max value and if you keep it as a cycle then after reaching that max value for example if i set the max value as 100 so after reaching this 100 then again it will start from 5 8 like that it will start it will goes on okay 5 7 9 and again it will reach 100 then again so the cycle goes on okay so i don't want to uh, be, uh, since this is a primary key i have set this as a primary key so i don't don't want to uh, get the repeated values in my table so i didn't set the max value here so that is the reason so now how i am going to bind this sequence with the table invoice okay now how i am going to bind is using the owner by owner by sorry owner owned by owned by keyword okay now i'm going to give my table name so this for this invoice alone okay for this invoice table i'm going to create the sequence and that particular bind comes here okay using owned by keyword owned by uh, uh, uh table name and for which column okay for which column i'm going to do invoice and uh, okay this is the syntax i think <clears throat> let me confirm it owned by table name dot column name uh, okay let me give dot otherwise we will So here I have created my sequence. Okay, my sequence got created. Okay, owned by invoice item ID. For this item ID, I have created this sequence. Okay, so what, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert. Okay, let me check whether uh, it is inserted or not using slash D. My sequence, my primary got uh, primary key got created, and uh, this is not null, and everything got created. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert insert into invoice. Okay, invoice is the table name. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, give one name. What is the first thing? Invoice ID. Okay, it should not be null. What is the next thing? Item ID right so for this item id only we have created the sequence okay so in order to give that sequence what i'm going to do is next to val of i'm going to call the function next to val of y because i need to generate the sequence of number given here okay given here using the next to val of function what it will do initially it will set as a 5 for the next value it will increment 2 for the next value again it will increment 2 so like that i am going to insert okay so what is my sequence name inside the next val i need to give my sequence name what is my sequence name invoice sequence so according to the sequence please do the next val please do the increment this is what we are coming to tell okay so comma <clears throat> so that's it okay comma uh, what is the next uh, column name here after item id got the sequence i need to give the item name right item name is some dal okay and the cost cost is uh, 200 okay what is the quantity so 2 kg so that's all okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert into invoice uh, okay i need to give all the it's not the syntax right i need to give all the column names here okay column names comma i need to give the column names <coughs> now now values 
values of okay quantity also there right q t y values of all these values okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just copy paste this and i'm going to insert more than one columns okay 150 151 next value dal 1 okay price is uh, 205 or something so let it be the quantity i'm going to insert one more what is the one more thing i'm going to insert 152 uh next val dal 2 okay so Hope all the brackets and everything got closed. I didn't uh, values of okay. I have given the two brackets here, so that is wrong. Okay, let me check whether I have given this correctly or not. I did some syntax mistake, I think. Have you found any syntax mistake here? Invoice, these are the items and values 150. Next val, uh, have closed the bracket, open the bracket, close the bracket. Okay, here I have given one quote, so that is the wrong. Okay, now I'm going to insert um, somewhere I did mistake in the <clears throat> by giving some quote. Okay, syntax error near to where is that? Okay, I'm going to correct that. Okay, values, values of 150, next to val 200, comma 2. Okay, <clears throat> 151, again 200, comma 2. Okay, here also I have given. I didn't notice that. Okay, now I'm going to copy paste this and you can see the three rows will be created. Okay, three rows will be inserted. Now what I'm going to do is select star from <coughs> my invoice table. Now I'm going to view all this. See here, 150, 150 and 152. Now you can see the sequence got created like this using next val function okay automatically uh, whatever uh, how many values you are inserting then automatically your sequence is got customized sequence please note this point you can able to create the customized sequence okay <clears throat> you can able to create the customized sequence using this <clears throat> okay hope you guys got my point are you guys doing parallelly or not if yes, please raise your hand. Do you have any doubts? Shall we move on to the next thing? Okay, what is the time? Okay, we will see the basic difference between uh, this uh, serial and uh, the sequence. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this table. Drop invoice, okay? Drop table invoice. Okay. Drop table invoice. Now I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to alter this into a serial. Now I'm going to show you what is the difference between the serial and <clears throat> see I have created the table. Now my invoice ID becomes serial. Okay. By default, the serial will iterate from one. One, two, three, like that. Okay. Now again, I'm going to create a sequence. Okay. So for the same item ID, I have created the sequence. Now I'm not going to give this serial because automatically it will increment. Okay. Automatically the serial will increment. So what is the first column name? Invoice ID. So for this invoice ID, automatically, since I have given it as a serial, automatically it will increment from one. Okay, one, two, three, like that. <clears throat> Not open. Target has more columns. So. <clears throat> Excuse me.
so for this serial let me give 150 like that can you see what is coming Yes, we will see what is in the serial slash the invoice. <clears throat> see here, my next value of invoice is the sequence which got generated. Okay, so automatically it will generate the values, the, some integer values. So that is what uh, we have given. So invoice this, I'm going to delete, I'm not going to insert that invoice ID. Okay, I have just deleted, though that's what the error raised. So I have just deleted that invoice ID uh, while inserting because it should increment automatically. So now I'm going to show you the difference. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to show you the difference. So select star from invoice, you can see here, so invoice ID, this is my serial, okay? This is my serial data type. And for item ID, I have given some customized, I have given some customized, okay? Customized sequence. What is my customized sequence? Five, seven, nine, like that it will goes on, okay? We have already seen, you can able to give uh, uh, the starting value increment as per your wish, okay? As per the requirement of the table. So this is how uh, the difference between the serial and the sequence shows. So in tomorrow's session, what we are going to see is how to concatenate something, some uh, string values, okay? So if it is in a customized way, then it should give some customized uh, string concatenation also, okay? How to concatenate some string values for uh, while generating the IDs and everything, it should automatically generate some customized values so how to give the uh, how to concatenate some uh, text or string with this uh, sequence okay with this sequence id how to uh, concatenate so that that's what we are going to see in tomorrow's session okay hope you guys uh, clear in this concept rajesh we can stop the recording Rajesh? Rajesh, we can stop the recording.